According to our Lord and Savior Chat GPT, acoustic guitar is the best selling instrument worldwide. In this video, we're going to talk about five reasons why the guitar is the greatest instrument of all time. If you're thinking about picking up a new instrument, or maybe you've lost your inspiration and motivation to play, this video is for you. I wake up every day excited to play the guitar. Every time I get the hardwood in my hands, it's like a journey of self discovery. I'm pushing the limits of my own own personal development. Good melody, the right chord progression, infectious rhythm, that's something anyone can understand. Ignite your passion for guitar with my free newsletter below. You get free tabs, tips, and tricks. If you've been playing for a while, it's time to upgrade your understanding with my full music theory course. And for the hardcore axe grinders, check out my Patreon page. That has all my courses and tabs, and I'm just releasing now a brand new program. It's called Faster by the Day. Get one practice routine per week that's engineered for maximum growth. Reason number one, the guitar is the greatest instrument is versatility. You can literally play any genre of music with the guitar. The reason for this is the guitar is a very capable instrument in the three musical aspects, harmony, rhythm, and melody. It can do each one all at the same time and form a complete musical arrangement. Think about it. You can't accompany yourself on a clarinet, right? How are you going to play and sing? Plus the clarinet, you know, you can just play one note at a time. You can't play chords and it's not very rhythmic. It doesn't have that cussive nature that an acoustic guitar does. Acoustic guitar really is like drums, bass, and a lead instrument in one. If you're someone who's interested in writing their own music, you pretty much have to play one of two instruments, either guitar or piano. Otherwise, it's difficult to put together a complete musical structure in your mind. <laughs> Now, reason number two the guitar is the greatest instrument is expressive capacity. The electric guitar's dynamic range is unparalleled. I mean, think about the range. You can go from soft, clean to your amp on 11 with just howling demonic distortion. Such a vast array of articulations you can use. You can bend the notes. You can use the whammy bar. Uh, there's pinch harmonics, sweeping, different types of picking. You can use your fingers. I think of players like Steve Vai. I mean, he literally, the, the sound that he evokes from that instrument is really something special. Reason number three, the guitar is the greatest instrument is portability. Last night I was walking in the park and I saw this guy bringing his acoustic guitar in to watch the sunset and play play some licks, jam out. Can't do that with a piano or with a lot of instruments. It's like the perfect size. It's not too big, but it's not too small either. Yes, instruments can get too small. I mean, think about like there's no piccolo, you know, heroes. Like we have guitar heroes. It looks really cool when you got the six strings strapped across your back and you're shredding. <laughs> it's going to be hard to make a piccolo look cool. Reason number four is accessibility. There's few barriers of entry on the guitar. You can pretty much just pick it up and start playing with exception of developing some calluses on your fingers. And actually a lot of people start with acoustic. I would recommend starting with electric guitar because the strings are smaller and they're closer to the fretboard. So it's easier to get going. When I first started playing at age 12, I was learning on my dad's acoustic and it had, you know, like eight miles off the fretboard string action, which just led me to quit. And then two years later at age 14, I got an electric guitar and then I stuck with that because it was a lot easier to play. <laughs> The fifth reason why the guitar is the greatest instrument in the world should be obvious to everyone, and that is the cool factor. Uh, I hate to say it, but uh, instruments like the tuba just aren't cool. Yes, they sound great in the context of an orchestra with an entire performance ensemble, you know, blending in, but <laughs> tuba is not a good soloist instrument, right? We don't have any tuba heroes out there. There's like this intangible element when you think about the guitar, like what is it, you know, in the sound that makes it so cool? There should, the first time I heard electric guitar, I was just completely floored. It triggered something deep inside me and just ignited my passion. I instantly knew, okay, that is something I have to learn. <laughs> It was that passion, that drive to reproduce the sound that I heard in my head and that I was hearing from other guitar gods that kept me going, right? Because initially, you do have to work on your calluses and you have to develop some finger strength. But over time, man, 
and I just kept plowing at it and working hard and not giving up. And eventually you start to make gains and you start to be able to get closer to what you're hearing in your mind. Use my BBC method. Number one, you have to believe you can do it. If you don't believe you can do something, you're definitely not going to do it. Step two or the second B is break it down. You know, just think about the steps meme, right? If you're at step one and then you skip right to step five, sweet picking, most likely you're not going to have, you know, the skill set built up to be able to do that. You're going to get discouraged and then you're going to quit. Break down every challenge that you face into small sequential steps. You know, maybe you're just spending five minutes a day working on a scale or something to start with. And finally, the BBC, the C part of the BBC is celebrate. This may be the most important part because if you don't celebrate your success, what happens is get exhausted and fatigued from an emotional standpoint. And we really need to keep our spirits high when we're learning something new. It's a challenge. So we need every ounce of energy we can muster. 2023 is the year to shred.